Let's, let's be practical. What happens? Ladies have accepted. Unajiambia pole. But how unajiambia pole? That money, after one year, will you look back and say, nilijiambia pole, and this is the value. Yeah, you nilijiambia pole. No, no, budget. <laughs> I, I, totally, I totally agree. You need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. But that should also be contained in the budget. Entertainment. In your budget, there should be an entertainment. So that's not the best way to pay yourself. So paying yourself, what we are saying here, you are setting aside some money that you are investing. And after some time, you'll see the value of that money. Okay? So... We are saying, pay yourself. Yes. The next step is pay yourself. You pay yourself through savings and investment. And investment. And uh, that is where now we are coming to say that you can do it alone or you can join the rest. Like you can be in an investment charmer, investment group, in a fund where you contribute something. You know, this has to be say delayed gratification. It is not going to be that easy. You are setting aside and you know, if you have been a consumer, you're something, you know, in your mind something is telling you, you should eat this money. You should, you know, the law of money is talking to you. Imagine. The money, when the money is in your pocket, it may hit your bank. You are, you are seeing a TV balance in my phone. It is telling you, walk to a supermarket. And I tell you, any time you'll ever walk to a supermarket or walk to somewhere without a budget, before you do a budget, everything becomes affordable. <laughs> you know, that's the time you walk electronics. When I talk up, when I the ladies, Komanguo, VR2, you know? I have 50,000 in my account. I have 100. I have eco, eco, pesa eco. I have 40,000. It's, it's, it's in my, my phone. But maybe there's a school fees there. There's a, you know, a lot of things, rent and all that. But the first thing is sit down with a pen and a paper. And it's a challenge I'm telling you today. Have a budget. Even if it's not an Excel, have a budget book. What we are doing today here, go have it. Pekeako. Do something. When I receive my money, where do my money go? Because where your money goes, it will tell what are your commitments in life. Are you serious or you are not? It will tell you when you sit down with that. That's the time when you do a budget, you realize, I can't afford this thing today. This thing is not a basic need. It is an, I want that I want, but it's not that I can't live without so budget will guide you to uh, uh, avoid misuse of money. It will avoid you, it will direct you to put your money into priority. It will guide you which are the things that matter today and even my tomorrow. So in your budget you're saying savings and investment. So you're saying put, at least the uh, government is taking, okay, normally, right now we are saying government is like taking everything. But normally, the government takes, let's say, 30%. If you're earning below 500,000, let's take that 30%. At least you should pay yourself around 30%. 30% of your net income. So you got a net income. You know you're supposed to be paid gross. Then go pay KRA, go whatever. But the taxman doesn't trust you. So... He won't allow you to go and give you all the money. Then you remit. You won't remit. You'll eat the law of money. It will. So the taxman takes his share before. 30%. So you're left with the 70%. So this 70% what you're saying is you need to pay yourself before you pay others. Before you pay mamamboga, gas. Those are others. But you need to pay yourself. So, through savings and investment, that's when you look for back and say, when I worked for a bank rock, 
I was able to set aside some money and this is the value I can see. Or I was able to acquire an asset, this asset has appreciated in value and this is what I've gotten. So, you need to pay yourself, that's what I'm saying, through savings and investment. Investment charmer, maybe you're contributing in a charmer. Maybe you have an education fund where you're putting some money aside for your children. You're setting some money and you're saying for their college, I want them to get this kind of education. What is this that I can do? Small by small bit, I can get there. If I'll need 300,000, if I'll need half a million, how can I build that in the next five to 10 years? So you say, you break it down and you say, this will be going towards that. So here you are paying yourself. You are securing your tomorrow. That is what I'm trying to say. You are securing your tomorrow. The rest you will spend today and you will think you are very okay. You seem to be doing well. But have you secured your tomorrow? If the only income you have is active, if you lose this active income, will you still be able to survive tomorrow? Will you be able to, to be able to sustain your lifestyle? How is your retirement? And retirement is real. It will come at some point. We may think we are young, but it will come. How are we planning towards that? So, pay yourself. What I'm saying is, at least give yourself between, give yourself between 30, let's, let's work with 30%. 30%. Then now come and pay others. You see now, others now comes here. Pay others now. Pay your rent. Pay transport. Airtime. Highlight those things. I want you to highlight those things that airtime. Maybe you have a house girl. Yeah, a domestic manager. Put that money. Uh, shopping. Put that money there. Your airtime, put it there. What else do you need to add there? Clothing. You need to add it there. But clothing for ladies, you don't have to buy every month. You can work around a budget where you can say, I'm setting aside, let's say, 3K or 2,000 or some amount of money and say, in three months time, I can be able to do a Shopping, but it's not when I walk in my own yeah, to stop by. I've seen her clothes. There is offer, there are happenings, you menda, LC Waikiki. You go and check what is there in KCB and Pesa. What's there in Mshwari? When you last borrowed, what was that need? When last time you borrowed? Was it an emergency? What was that thing? When you borrowed, when was it? Did you did you borrow? You don't have any. Okay. I'm sure. Okwajazi. I'm a fuliza. Those are debts. They are. They are very simple. They are very small. But do you know you pay interest? Hustler fund. It comes with an interest. Let's work the case of I'm uh, sure. The interest is like what percent? Seven point two. Take let's say seven point two or seven point five percent. Seven point five percent. Let's say every month you realize uh, you always borrow five k every month. Every month you borrow five thousand. So in a year, five thousand times twelve that is sixty thousand. The emissary charges you seven point five percent. 7.5% times 12. Can you see it? 84. 90. You borrowed 60,000. You have borrowed this money. It's like today going to Nini and say, I want to borrow 60,000 and I will pay at 90% return. It is very small when you are accessing that money, but in the long term. This is the impact. Do this in five years' time. 60,000 times uh, five, that would be like 300,000. 90% times five, that would be like 
You see, it, it's a cycle. So when we talk of planning your finances, what I'm trying to tell you with a budget, a budget will tell you, live within your means. Budget will tell you, you can't shop in Chandarana or, okay, I'm not against any whatever, but I'm just saying, your budget will tell you, if you wake up very early in the morning, you can get things in, at Marikiti, at a better price, you just need to come and clean them and use them for the whole week. Budget will tell you, you can't afford to be buy, you can't afford to be buying that packet of milk. Anytime you want to take tea, go to the shop and buy that milk. It will tell you, you can plan. If it comes to laundry, the sabuni and all those things, it will tell you, you don't fit in car four or you don't fit whatever, you need to go to those wholesale. Or you can buy things at a better price, quality things that will last you for some time. Budget will tell you where you fit. You know? So, you do the budget, be very honest with yourself. So we have said pay others. Entertainment. You know, that's where you go wrong. Your budget should have a, an entertainment part of it. Give yourself even 5% of your income. At a, to say me, what you have earned, 5%, put it there. That is for you, your family, your children. If it's for me, if my entertainment is 3,000, we go eat 3,000, Hakuna went out the whole of that month again. It's done. If I continue doing it, maybe I'm consuming money which is meant for the education. I'll make them happy today, but I'll consume their money for the education. So, the budget is going to tell you, this is what you should do, and this is what you can't do. This is what you can afford right now, and what. And the budget will tell you, you need to work on your passive income. The thing is not that I'm telling you, now you need to stay with that small money and all that. What I'm trying to tell you is, you need to think. Have streams of income. More than one income. Don't depend on one income. Don't depend on one active income. You are thinking of options options what is this that can give you once yes i'm cutting cost on various things and all that to fit in my budget but i'm also thinking i have an expansion and growth mindset that i'm thinking yes in case of any increment or income first of all pay yourself more don't adjust your life because you can even house you can live within actually at 10 percent of your income you ask yourself where how you can do that is, as long as your income is increasing, don't change houses. Now and then, you're moving, you're moving, increasing, increasing. You can stay where you are, and income increases, channel it to the paying yourself, and then you'll find yourself, your rent versus your, your income, your earning, you are somewhere there, with say 10 to 20 percent. You know, within 10 to 20 percent there, you're somewhere, you're within there. So, here, pay others. We are very generous in paying others. We pay them even without, even without our money. You pay others. The way I was saying, you hear there's a bonus coming or there's a, some money increment coming, you change houses. You start acquiring things on debt. You know, just because there was a rumor, there was going to be some income somewhere. You change things. So those are the, the mistakes people make. So I talked about the guy with a million, with a 500, with a, I talk about a boda boda, saving 200 shillings per day. But these people, they have a different mindset. There's one who has a consumer mentality. They want to consume. Anything that is coming, coming, it is to be consumed. But there's someone else who is saying, I can set aside something small. I can grow, I can set aside a seed that can grow and I can take a shelter under that tree. And this is a person who is paying themselves through investing. So this can be something small. You can say, I'm setting aside a 2,000 from my budget. It is small. But in a year, that is how much? That's 24,000. Invested, you have earned, let's say, like 3,000. That's like 25,000. But if you didn't provide in your budget that 24,000, you will not realize that money. At the end of the day, you, yeah, you'll have zero. In fact, you'll have maybe borrowed. So you need more money to pay people. So here, you plan. 
So pay others. Then there's something we call um, entertainment. I'll say that. Clothing, airtime, miscellaneous, provide for that. Then for, uh, there's something we call discretionary. Discretionary expenses. So in your budget, you need to have what we call fixed expenses. In a month, I know for me to be comfortable, to be able to come and work here to my, tra even transport, put it here. Transport, how much? Yes? Electricity, Electricity tokens, you know, no, things are increasing. You know, water bill, school fees. You know, you need to put it there in a budget and it will tell you how am I doing. Emergency now you set it here in paying yourself. Here. Emergency because it's the money that you can take and meet any needs that may come with an eventuality. Yeah? So paying yourself is very important. Your savings and investing, have like an emergency fund, education, you know, you're setting something here for your tomorrow, for your kids and your dependents here. So then here you're saying pay others. So you're paying others. Don't pay others before you pay yourself. What you have said, we, our teacher told here that I'll pay myself by paying rent and all that. Then we have assessed and we see at the end of the year, you'll have nothing. But the landlord will be very happy. You have been a good tenant. You pay on time, you know. You pay on time and all that. But you will not have anything of your own. So if you don't have money in that January, you'd part ways with that landlord. Despite how good you have been. But you know, you need to pay yourself. Eh? So, pay yourself. Then there's something I've mentioned, discretionary expenses. So, you need to classify your expenses into two. These are fixed. These are what we call fixed, ah, sorry, fixed expenses. Fixed expenses. Then have, come when have so what we call discretionary. Discretionary expenses. 